Like a growing number of Cubans, 77-year-old Havana resident Umberta Avila says he will likely sit out Sunday's legislative elections. The retired university professor says he's done the math, 470 candidates for 470 open seats and sees no point in voting. It seems to me that's the same number of candidates as open seats, so there is no election. You are simply reaffirming what the nominating committee did. In Cuba, government-organized selection committees choose the candidates, who must then receive more than 50 percent of the votes in their district to earn a seat in the National Assembly, the country's highest lawmaking body. Political campaigning is illegal. Cuba says the system promotes unity and reduces the sway of money in politics. Critics say it lacks transparency and amounts to a rubber stamp for one-party rule. Either way, declining turnout could threaten the new assembly's credibility and amid a deep economic downturn, add to a growing sense of malaise in a country that has been a communist-run state since shortly after the 1959 Cuban Revolution. Bert Hoffman, a Latin America expert at the German Institute of Global and Area Studies, says more is at stake than ever before. It will be important to watch the turnout and the abstention rate, that's what the attention will be on. And the question really is if the government does get a majority of the electorate, it will get a majority of the cast votes, that's a given, but whether they really can mobilize the electorate or if we have such a high rate of abstention, which would be some form of signaling opposition in a single party system, which then would undermine the legitimacy of the uh, government to some extent. Abstention has spiked in recent elections, rising to a four-decade high of 31 percent of eligible voters in November, a drastic change from elections under former leader Fidel Castro when nearly every Cuban of voting age typically cast a ballot. Groups primarily outside Cuba have launched a campaign encouraging people to skip the vote, calling the electoral process a farce in videos circulated on social media. But Cuba's government has encouraged participation in Sunday's election by touting a unity vote as a show of patriotism and support for Cuba's socialist system. For some Cubans Reuters spoke to, both young and old, those arguments make sense. That's why Ray Lazaro Blanco, a 19-year-old geography student at the University of Havana, plans to vote on Sunday. In the end, hope should never be lost. What is going to happen is going to be for the better, and that in one way or another, everything that is happening in our country right now can be fixed.